So speaking of having Israel's back, I want you to take a listen to uh, what Donald Trump had to say about Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu a few days ago. He has been hurt very badly because of what's happened here. He was not prepared. He was not prepared, and Israel was not prepared. And under Trump, they wouldn't have had to be prepared. He went on to call Hezbollah, which the U.S. classifies as a terrorist group, very smart. He called the defense minister a jerk, uh, and he went on and on. Um, this was, I think, Wednesday, so four days after the deadliest day for the Jewish people since the Holocaust. What was your response when you heard that? It's why I continue to say it is time for a new generational leader. We've got to get past the headlines of the past. I mean, look, he congratulated the Chinese Communist Party not too long ago. He's saying Hezbollah is smart. I can tell you at the United Nations, um, when I was there, and I dealt with all of them every day, you don't go and compliment any of them. Because what that does is that makes America look weak. It doesn't make America look strong. It doesn't make America have friends with them. What you do is you show strength. You let them know what we expect of them. So complimenting Hezbollah and going and complimenting the Chinese Communist Party or criticizing a leader who has just watched so many of his citizens brutally murdered. It's the wrong place at the wrong time. This isn't about Trump. It's not about him. It's not about what happened in the past. We've got to look forward. This is going to be tough days ahead for everyone involved. This is not the time to sit there and bash a leader. This is a time to sit there and give him the support he needs, give the Israeli people the support they need, 